Hey, so what's up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech. And today right in front here, I have the Feiyu Tech G6 3-axis stabilized handheld gimbal. And actually, I was intending to buy the G5 uh, previously before I heard about the G6. The G6 actually launched about a couple of weeks back, so it's a pretty new product and uh, stocks are pretty scarce. But thanks to a friend, which I know, so he hooked me up with a unit of the Feiyu Tech G6. Right here, actually, I have my GoPro Hero 6, as well as a Polar Pro polarizer filter okay i got this gimbal for actually around 930 ringgit and i also ordered the gimbal tripod from feiyutech which will come in a couple of weeks or a couple of days more so uh i'll be probably just posting some pictures about that on my instagram account so if you do want to check it out follow me on instagram at droidtech underscore official I'll be posting shots and tests from the gimbal right there. This video will actually just be an unboxing. If you do want me to do another video on how to set up the gimbal and other features, do hit me up in the comments and I'll make a video just for you guys. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get right into the unboxing. So I've actually already opened the gimbal to actually test out the gimbal so to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Let's take a look around the box. So it's a basic white box. You can see G6, Feiyutech on the front as well as a image of the G6 with a GoPro right there. And also, you can see the controls, which we will take a look at later. You can see Feiyutech at the side. On the back, you can see the model, the QR code, and uh, it's Bluetooth, as well as uh, has Wi-Fi and stuff like that with this gimbal. So this is a breakthrough in gimbal technology, I would say. It doesn't only have Bluetooth, it also has Wi-Fi. So the reason I got this over the G5 is because this gimbal can also control your GoPro or your Sony RX0. Only currently two models are supported, which is the GoPro and the RX0, which are the top of the line cameras. So let me open this package right here and slide out the included case. So as you can see right here, there's a Feiyutech case right there. So let me put this box to the side. Okay, so you can see this box is... Uh, Made from a pretty durable material. I, I'm pretty sure this uh, bag is also waterproof as well. Not waterproof, but water resistant by the, the nature of this material. So it's not foam, it's uh, some kind of PU material, I guess. And there's also a carrying strap for you to carry your gimbal with ease. Okay, so let's unzip this and take a look at the contents in the box. So I put it everything back exactly the way it came. So this is exactly what you're going to be experiencing. So this bag is of very high quality, I should say. I have actually owned the Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal for smartphones in the past and uh, that is pretty good as well. But I think the padding on this is even better. Let me give you a close look at the padding. You can see this is like really good foam material to keep your gimbal protected. And the best thing about this case is actually you can actually keep your GoPro inside here and you don't have to take it off. So you can just store it everything right in here and you wouldn't have any problems with the gimbal or the GoPro being damaged or your camera, action camera being damaged. This gimbal by the way works with a multitude of different action cameras like even the e 4 k Plus and a couple of other brands. As long as you have the same form factor as the GoPro, you would probably be able to use this gimbal. Of course, we cannot consider the Sony action cameras because they are different form factor so you have to get a special gimbal for that and then Feiyutech actually makes those gimbals for Sony cameras but they are a little more complicated from the pictures I think this is pretty straightforward okay so inside the box we actually get a Feiyutech letter which contains your instruction manuals your warranty information warranty card as well so warranty card so you can see there's instruction manual in two different languages so there's english and one more in chinese i don't understand chinese even though i'm chinese my whole family speaks english so it's always english for me okay so let's put that to the side so let's take a look at what else is in the package so we have a nice feiyutech box right here which contains the essentials uh, what i mean by essentials you will see in a second okay so some stuff already fell out okay so putting that to the side okay first thing we have is a micro usb charging cable so standard affair right here okay you can use any micro usb cable it will work fine okay so the next thing in the box is actually a micro usb to usb c cable this is used as a bridge so it's actually you can use this gimbal to charge your gopro on the go so you will never run out of battery on your gopro by using this cable right here so this is a very very important cable in fact 
I would say that um, even though it takes away the waterproof function of your GoPro, but sometimes you need the battery to actually get your shots done. So this cable is definitely necessary. So we have put that to the side. So we also have two more shorter screws in case your action cameras are slightly smaller. But for most of the action cameras, we actually will be using the long one, which is already pre-installed. Okay, let's take a look at the battery right here. So let's take a look at the specifications of the battery. See, it's Fayotech battery. It's the official battery. And you can see it's 3.6 volts. 18 watt hours see it's a pretty huge battery okay this battery there was there was actually a plastic protective film so you do have to take that out in order to use the battery so don't be mistaken that the gimbal is faulty or you got a bad unit but you have to actually remove the plastic so i heard some youtubers actually said that oh they thought it was a faulty unit they had but actually it was just the plastic covering the battery terminal so okay that's about it for the battery we'll have to install that in a bit okay now taking a look and the gimbal itself so let's take a tour around the gimbal so on the front that's where your joystick will be and then a small screen to actually show you details on whether your wi-fi is connected your bluetooth is connected you can even change your camera settings right through this gimbal so that is really a game changer i've never seen a gimbal which can do that in the market at all so this is the very first one and also this gimbal is also splash proof it is not waterproof so don't go submerging your gimbal underwater this will do the job in maybe a rainstorm or something like that okay so taking a look at it there's also the joystick which i mentioned earlier and then there is a power on button as well as a mode button this will be the mode button where you actually are able to swivel your gimbal around for maybe a selfie or maybe a vlog style video as well as being able to lock the different modes like maybe the lock the pan the tilt and stuff like that so at the right at the bottom we have the record button this record button will be able to control your gopro or rx0 camera so you can choose between modes video or photo and be able to control your camera without even touching the camera itself okay so taking a look around the side so this one is actually a settings button if i'm not mistaken so you can actually hold on it and actually change the different settings on your camera as well as changing the mode so from photo to video and stuff like that okay so there's also a micro usb charging port right here so let me give you a closer look it's a micro usb charging port with this rubber cover it's not really a gasket but i guess you should do the job technically being splash proof okay i'm taking a look at the back of the gimbal handle this is where you will be able to tilt your horizon so you can tilt it either way you are i'm not sure who will be using this I for one won't be using this and I think it's quite a weird choice for them to actually design it on the back because I don't think you'll be actually using it but you'll be accidentally triggering the function even though you don't need it so I don't know why they did that and this button right here is actually to reposition your camera straight forwards in that case taking a look at the left side we have a quarter inch thread right here so you can actually screw on uh, maybe a cold shoe mount or maybe a phone holder they do sell phone holders if I'm not mistaken for this gimbal so you can actually mount your phone at the side and have it something like the DJI Osmo and uh, I don't think I'll be using that well that's just there for a reason so some of you might actually use it okay so taking a look at the gimbal motor itself so you can see there's a USB port right here this is where you'll be able to charge your camera by plugging in the micro USB to this port right here and then plugging the USB C connector to your camera itself so this is where the charging all happens for your camera at least okay so let me try to put this back okay so putting that in place you can see there's a small foam padding so you can easily take that off put that to the side i don't think you'll be actually using that you can actually leave your camera mounted on here so you can see there are actually two thumb screws here for you to actually mount your gopro or any action camera so you can it's, it's pretty long so you can actually adjust it pretty far out but i would suggest actually if you guys do have a sponge or any small layer small sponge layer to actually put it right here that's what i'll be doing i'll actually be putting a piece of sponge here because you know metal against plastic obviously the plastic will be the one getting damaged so i don't think i want that to happen so i'll be actually sticking a piece of foam right here a very thin piece of foam will be good enough so that'll be what i'll be doing and then you see there's also foam lining here at the side of the motor as well as on the back here so it's not scratch your action camera so it's pretty good okay one more thing you've probably noticed that this gimbal motor is actually at an angle 
So why did they do that? It's many of the action cameras these days have a screen behind or touch screen. So most of the older gimbals will actually block the functionality of your touch screen. But with this gimbal, they actually rethought the whole gimbal design and actually put it at an angle. It's a simple engineering feat, but uh, just by this, it will actually enhance the user experience of the gimbal itself. And actually when you're filming, you can know what you are filming because it's not blocking the display. I don't know how good that will be at, at certain angles if you're holding the gimbal, like if you're holding the gimbal at an angle at a, maybe a 45 degrees angle, it will still block the screen. So it depends on you, but I appreciate the R&D they actually put into this gimbal. Okay, you can see from here, it's actually a lock and unlock right here because what's unique about this gimbal compared to other gimbals like the G5 and the previous models is that you're able to adjust and balance the gimbal instead of just the gimbal being able to work with your GoPro, you're able to adjust the gimbal to actually work with a multitude of cameras. That's why this is the real deal right here. So you can actually twist it and loosen it and balance it to whatever camera you're using. That's how I was able to use the Polar Pro filter in the first place. Because the Polar Pro filter actually causes the gimbal to go out of balance. But when I am able to adjust this, I'm actually able to use or uh, maybe or plugging in the USB-C to 3.5mm audio connector cable. I won't be buying that, but at least I have this option here that I know that my gimbal won't have a problem. And also these motors are slightly stronger than the old ones. So they've improved overall the design and the torque and uh, most of the functions of this gimbal. I mean, it's not much of a difference compared to the old one in terms of price. This gimbal is definitely a real good buy. If you're intending to get one, don't think of any other brand. Just head over to Favorite Tech and just order it from them. Okay, so taking a look at this, there's a G6 logo right at the corner. On the bottom of the gimbal, we actually have a quarter inch tray. This is where you're going to be able to mount something like a tripod. That's the tripod I was talking about, the original Feiyutech tripod. So you can actually do time-lapse video and stand it up without worrying about the gimbal falling over. Okay, last but not least, you might be thinking that why do you even buy a gimbal for the GoPro Hero 6? Because they have awesome stabilization in camera itself. But the reason I got this is because the stabilization doesn't work in high frame rates, especially I like to film in 4K60 because I'm able to slow it down and make a very cinematic slow motion video in post. And I'm able to do that with 4K60. Of course, the more resolution, the better, right? That doesn't allow me to use EIS. So video footage, which I tried, is actually very unstable. It's very shaky. So I had to invest in a gimbal. That's why I got the G6. So you might be wondering why? So that's your answer right there. The stabilization is not all that great because unless you're filming in like maybe 30 frames or 24 frames per second, yeah, that is good. But if you're going to film in higher frame rates, then definitely you have to get something like this. Or is this a G5 because the price will be dropping pretty drastically because there's a new model right here. But I think this model for the slightly higher price tag actually is worth the money. So okay, let's proceed to the video footage which I've shot with the Feiyutech G6. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments also what you think of the video stabilization and will you be actually purchasing something like this or are you thinking of purchasing a gimbal? So hit me up in the comments, subscribe to this channel and like this video if you did like it. It'd be very much appreciated. So take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.